To install JavaFX with Eclipse, first type JavaFX into your search bar. Select this first option. Click Download, then scroll to Downloads and enter these options. Then download the zip. Minimize this page for now. We will come back to it later. Next, open Eclipse. Then go to Help, then Marketplace. Then search for FX. Then download this first option here. Now to create a Java FX project, first go to File, then New, then Other. Open the Java FX drop down and select Java FX Project. To create the project, choose a name. I am naming this one Hello FX. Make sure Module Info is not selected. Now press Finish. Now that we have created our project, we can see right away that we have errors. This is normal. To get rid of the errors, we first need to add the jar files from the library folder, extracted from the zip. To do this, left-click on your project, then go to Build Path. Then add Libraries. Select User Library, click Next. Now click User Library, then New. Now give the library a name. I am going to name mine JavaFX Lib. Now click Add External Jars. Add the jar files from the library folder. Select everything in the library folder. Now click Apply and Close, then click Finish. The errors should now be gone. With Java SE24, we need to put all of the libraries in the module path. Left click on your project, then go to Build Path, then configure Build Path. Simply drag and drop the user library you just created into the module path. To ensure the JRE you are using is correct, remove the existing one, then click on Add Library. Left click on Module Path, then JRE System Library, and select Workspace Default. Click Apply and Close. Now if we try to run our main.java file, we get an error. This is because we need to set up VM arguments. To find the VM arguments, open the JavaFX page in your web browser from earlier. Then scroll down to Reference Documents. Now click on JavaFX and Eclipse, then scroll down to Step 3 and copy the VM arg syntax. It will also be in the description below. To enter VM arguments, go to your main.java file, then go to Run As, then click on Run Configuration. On the left panel, make sure you select your file under Java Application. Now go to the Arguments tab. In the Arguments tab, you will see a box where you can enter the argument from OpenFX. Before we run, we need to make some changes to the general syntax of the argument. Delete the text from users to write before lib. We will replace this with our own path. Go to where you have saved the extracted zip. Now left-click on the folder. Click Get Info and copy the path. Not including Macintosh. Now paste this into the VM argument. Below this you can see three boxes. Make sure only the second one is selected. Now click Apply, then click Run. Now you should see a white box indicating everything has worked. But, if you notice we have four warnings. These are from the JVM telling you that in future JDK versions, certain internal native code will be blocked unless explicitly allowed. JavaFX uses some native libraries under the hood, and starting with JDK 21, Java is locking down those access points unless you opt in. To remove the warnings, go back to VMargs and paste the updated argument that I have provided in the description. Now there are no errors and everything should work fine. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.